So, go. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Phil here from Gen Tea. Today we are going to brew an exciting, unique tea. It's a yellow tea called Huang Da Cha. Grab your kettles, get the tea on, and let's get started. This is Huang Da Cha. It's a yellow tea, which is already quite unique as yellow tea features a special process and is quite rare to find. And uh, Huang Da Cha is from Anhui province. So this yellow tea also features a roasting, which will really add some interesting notes to the flavor. All right, I've warmed up the gaiwan. Let's smell this leaf. This is a great, uh, a great profile. That roasting really pops. You've got some hints of dark chocolate, almost a coffee-like, um, a coffee bean-like aroma, maybe even a cascara-like aroma. So as I mentioned, Huang Da Cha is a yellow tea. A lot of people are curious about what is yellow tea because it is fairly rare and something that many people haven't heard of. Basically, it's similar to green tea, but there's another step introduced called yellowing. And basically what that does is introduce some mild oxidation, softens the profile, uh, the, the flavor profile somewhat and just transforms the tea into something very new. Already a little bit of dark chocolate on the aroma. Wow, bold, robust, great flavor, clean in the mouth. That dark chocolate undertone is really apparent and delicious. I think this would make a great morning tea. It's just so lively and bright. The mouth, there's a little bit of bite, but the mouth feel is still clean and refreshing at the end. I like to have a little smell of the gaiwan then while the tea is cooling. Again, I've got that sort of coffee bean, roasty, hints of dark chocolate still there. Really nice. Oh, wonderful dark chocolate undertone, really delicious. I think if you're someone who likes coffee or you're coming or you're new to tea, coming from a coffee background, this might be a great tea to get started with. Very robust and bold, but still very clean in the mouth and some nice, very nice lingering aftertaste. Those robust elements from the first infusions are still there, but they seem to be mellowing out. Mm, yes, the, the, the dark chocolate is still there, but it's sinking into the liquor somewhat and just making, just sort of like the rough edges mm, are smoothed out now and it's just a little bit cleaner, becoming uh, a little yellower, if that makes any sense. Those bold notes are still present, but they're definitely diving into the liquor and getting more rounded out, transforming to somewhat of a minerally rockiness with some straw. Still that omnipresent roasty dark chocolate base is there. And I have to say, I've been snacking because I've been drinking a lot of tea and this tea pairs great with sweets. We do often have it after supper with a cheesecake or with a citrusy dessert. It's a fantastic after supper tea. Just delightful. So this is the sixth or seventh infusion. I honestly lost track a little bit. But you can uh, get all the information about this tea, where it's from, exactly how to brew it, and my complete tasting notes. They're all on the website. And if you've tried the tea, I would absolutely love for you to leave some comments with your own tasting notes. 
So until next time, keep steeping.